Hey guys, and welcome to another video here on the Hobby Channel. I won't probably be doing these very often, just because as much as I do enjoy a good Pokemon card, I do find that they're a very expensive investment. But I had to do something special for, of course, the 25 years of Pokemon. So this is an Elite Trainer Box from the Celebrations Pack. One of the biggest things here, of course, is that you get your pulls for cards that have been reprinted or reimagined, I should say from even original base set and from some of the original cards that I grew up with as a kid. I also have a few couple just random packs that I had gotten out of gifts and things through the uh, the end of last year. We're of course now in 2022 when I'm recording this, so it is now technically 26 years of Pokemon, but yeah, these are also on the, the list. To start things off, I've already cracked open the plastic just to make life a little easier. It may not be easy to see on camera, but it has all the different starters all kind of embossed into the box. So I'll definitely be holding on to the box because it's just a really cool thing. And uh, yeah, we'll just crack right up into it. So this isn't something I normally do. Uh, for those of you that have watched my gaming channel, uh, I have occasionally shown off some Pokemon cards here and there. I do, of course, have a bunch of the 20th year, at least here in Canada, they did Toys R Us Pokemon cards, such as this Pikachu, which you can see here, it's the Canada, <laughs> English Canada <laughs> Toys R Us Pikachu. And these were for the uh, the 20th, so these were five years ago that they had, or now six, I guess, technically, that they had released these ones out. But yeah, this is uh, pretty exciting. So let's slide the box out. So there's, of course, a very nice little manual. This you can actually see the all the different starters a lot better. I'm personally of the Squirtle Squad of sorts. That was always my oh my goodness, it even has stuff on the uh, on the inside of the box there. Look at that, like inverted. That's pretty cool. Um, I had seen some other. YouTubers kind of open a few of these up. There's the lid. And they looked pretty cool from what I saw. Here's a uh, just the rules on how to play. I will admit, after having collected on-off Pokemon cards for 20-some-odd years of my life, um, never learned how to play. Why would you? <laughs> the cards are just too cool. So in the middle, of course, have dice. We have poison and the bandage uh, mark. These are actually quite nice. They're uh, like they're like a clear plastic with the marker being underneath. You can kind of see it there on the angle. The dice aren't too bad either. Just your standard type of numbered and regular D6. Standard, standard stuff there. Nothing special else in the middle. I'm going to lift this up. Oops, something fell. I'm going to guess that that's the uh, limited edition card that comes with this, which is an Ash Greninja, which is eh, pretty cool. I'm not a big Greninja fan, of course, but I do like the fact that all these cards have the 25 years on them. Looks like it's okay. Pretty good shape. A lot of, um, a lot of cut lines on it, but I mean, for something that's stored in a package like that, you never know what you're going to get, but I'll take it. Put that aside, we've got a whole bunch of energies, which, my goodness, does anybody actually still keep these? I don't know. We've got a couple of these, what, what look like little dividers, if you wanted to have them put into the box, which once again have the very nice embossed kind of marker on it, cool there. We have code card I guess I don't know if I'll use that or not we've got oh that's cool sleeves that are I'm gonna open this up I want to see what these are looking like up close so are they just your typical type of sleeve eh, they feel pretty good yeah typical type of sleeve put your card in protect it, it does hide the Pokemon backing to it but I think that this is actually kind of cooler. Sorry for the glare. All right, so let's take a look at the packs. So we've got ourselves 
a vivid voltage. We have battle styles. I like the Empoleon. We've got Chilling Rain with the uh, Galarian Moltres. Another Chilling Rain with Calyrex, I think. I'm not overly. That's Zapdos. I know that one. <laughs> Galarian Zapdos. Very much the Roadrunner as people have described it. And then a whole bunch of Celebrations packs, which these are the ones that I'm most excited about. So many packs. So many packs. Okay, let's get the box out of the way. We'll put these up to our left. Apologies for the blur. We'll put these up to our middle. And we'll throw these over here. Those are the two random packs that I had. And, uh, yeah. Let's uh, start cracking open some Pokemon cards. I don't get to do this all that often. Uh, and it's not always the easiest to get these open, I find. Sometimes I have an easier time opening them from the bottom. Yep. All right. Crack this guy open. I don't want to see what the cards are because a lot of these are new for me. So chilling rain to start. We'll take, I don't know if I'll hold on to some of the packaging or not. We'll see. Uh, we'll slide this guy over here. If you guys are interested in the code cards, let me know. I can always swap those out. I believe most of the, uh, most of the card tricks for packs nowadays are three. Of course, English cards always had to be weird. They always had to have a card trick to them as opposed to just having the Pokemon at the end. Rapid Strike, Spiral Energy. Peony, so that's a trainer. Leyron, that's one I recognize. Snover, <laughs> he looks like he's going to beat you up. Blitzel, Ghastly, Coughing, Deli Bird. Get your gifts, kids. Venipede. A Cobalion with a, that's a cool kind of mix. It's got a lot of like, what looks like factory lines across it though. And an energy. So I guess I did that wrong. So I guess it's like two cards instead of three. Okay, so two cards instead of three. I will try and remember that. We'll put our Cobalion to the side. Or you know what? We have them. So let's use them. There we go. There. Holographic and a uh, sleeve. They gave us the sleeves, so we might as well use them, right? All right, try and open up this guy. I apologize if anyone gets annoyed by the crinkling noises of the cards. Those can be a pain. All right, oh, kind of showed that. So we know there's a Marif in there, darn. <laughs> All right, sleeves come over to me. I'm gonna move these guys over here. You guys won't be able to see them at the moment, but I'm just going to move them to the side so I can see a little better. Take that out of there. So we're presuming it's the two, which means Corellia is the first one now. Pretty cool looking. We then have Justified Gloves. We have a Mareep. We have a Rock Ruff. We've got... Swirlix, Lapras, Deerling, Cast Form. Oh, I might have done this wrong. Hold on. <laughs> so apparently that has a different card trick. We know we have something. So there's an energy and a crushing glove. Because this is the reverse here, this cast form, which is actually pretty cool. And we have a Tornadus VMAX. Very shiny little card. Once again, we'll grab. A couple of sleeves so we don't completely destroy the cards. I'll have to check the original pack to see where the uh, so that's our reverse and that's our VMAX. So that's pretty cool. Very shiny, a lot shinier than I mean, as I saw, as I showed you guys, like the 20th anniversary Pokemon card. Pokemon cards were definitely not as shiny back in the day. It was just a hollow was all you got and that was a big deal. 
All right, we're getting better at opening them. All right, so let's get this out of the way. That was another chilling rain pack. So one, two, three, was it four? Hopefully, I don't know, we'll see. Hey, there's an energy. All right, so energy, another layer on. Steeny? I don't know if I know this one. <laughs> Rugged helmet. Sfeel, very cute little Pokemon. Crab Brawler. This in Pokemon Snap is hilarious. Golette. I like the evolved form of that. Porygon. There's a classic. Classic 150. Grookey. For everybody that's part of the Grookey squad. This is our reverse. It's a Kelsilion? Kelsion? It's like a um, like a little lizard. And we've got a Galarian Moltres. Cool. All right. More sleeves. We need more sleeves. <laughs> All right. So reverse into a sleeve. Moltres into a sleeve. There. Cool. All right. Next, battle styles. No idea on, as I say, as a first time uh, opening. Mm. These packs, oh my god. I'm not used to doing these card tricks that our other YouTubers do. Oh my god, I may have to actually like cut one of these to get into it. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> Did not want to open. All right. Too funny. It's a skill all of its own to do the card openings. Okay, so put this to the side. We'll do, I guess, three. Flip. Uh, oh, probably get it wrong. So, energy, experience, share, charcoal, salandit, roly coly, esper, shinx. Bit plug. There's the reverse. It's a Cedra. And a hollow bronzong. And the energy is in behind. Okay. So we did it a little wrong, but not terrible. So we'll put bronzong in a sleeve. We'll put our reverse Cedra in a sleeve. There we go. Last one, the vivid voltage. And this one opened up a little easier. Much, much easier. Beld them at the back. Slap that to the side. Move this out of our way. Let's go with, I guess, three probably. If we don't have the energy in front, then maybe that's a pretty good sign that we've mixed it up. So I'll grab the energy. Aha, there. Energy at the front. So there. Chameleon. Pincurchin. Trumbeak. Beldum, Fanfi, Duskull, Electrike, Pineco, reverses a Ferrothorn, and a non-holographic Mudsdale. So only our reverse is worth throwing into a sleeve. Unless, of course, those, uh, those rares are worth something. I'll just set it aside so then we know. All right, so that has been the regular packs. I think what we'll do, we'll set these to our side. We'll just crack open the Sword and Shield regular pack here. Mm. See a shelter on the top. Not a bad Pokemon to grab off to start. Code card out of the way. Let's do three. Look at the corner on this. It's like completely destroyed. I don't know if that's from me opening it or if that was just the way it was cut, but it, it's sharp actually on that corner. Weird. All right. Oh, probably messed it up. Energy to the front. There we go. So get that out. Stunfisk, Dotler, Energy Switch. There's the Shelter, Grookey, Snom, Muna. This is like, looks like Yarn Yoshi almost. 
Uh, Zig Zagoon. Our reverse is a trainer. And a clip bill. Okay. Put the clay doll up with the mud stale for being non holographic. We'll put our reverse into a sleeve. And we'll crack into the Evolving Skies pack. This is a pack that apparently a lot of people are quite excited about. So we will crack this one open. I saw a lot of stuff online about people being huge, huge fans of this particular pack. I believe it's three. If it's not, we'll just grab the one from the back. All right, there we go. So Dark Energy. Zwellius, Nuzzle, Kolduck, Gossifleur, Fletchling, Scraggy, Hippopotus, Timpole, our reverse is a jump bluff, and our last one is a ship tree. So once again, a non-holographic as our rare, and our little buddy can go in a sleeve. So where some people will show off all their pulls. At the end, I will just show you guys what we got in that first batch. I can't believe the number of cards that are piled up over there from those boosters. But so we got the Jump Luff, Professor's Research, Ferrothorn, Cedra as the reverse, Bronzong as a hollow, Moltres as a full art. We got Kelsion as a reverse. We got the Tornadus, Cast Form, and a Gobalion. Nothing too crazy, I don't believe. And my goodness, all those extra cards. Now, this is the part that I'm genuinely excited for. I don't believe there's any card trick for this, so I can't screw this up. It's only four cards. And this includes, in my opinion, my favorite card of all time, which is the original base set style Blastoise. That artwork and that particular card was something I chased as a kid. Never actually got one. So let's see if we can get lucky with these ones. Ah, my goodness, once again, I think it's actually harder because there's less cards to produce a, uh, ah, there, that we can have as kind of a, a buffer. All right, there. Rip pack art on that. Thankfully, I've got a bunch of these, so we can check them all. We'll take that card out, and... Just immediately flip over and go. So Yvettel is the first one. And I think almost everything in here is going to be holographic of some form. Zekrom. And I love the 25 year mark. That's so cool. We've got a Dialga. And ooh, a Mew. Okay, cool. So I'm going to throw that into a sleeve because that's a pretty cool one. I like that one a lot. And then I'll put these ones to the side for now. And I'll kind of work my way through those at a later point. Next, we have quite a few of these to get through. So hopefully we get some cool stuff. Get the card out of the way. Flip over Cosmoem. Cool once again. Does have a bit of a factory line or a mark right there. A little unfortunate in that sense. We have a Palkia. Palkia, my favorite of the Diamond and Pearl rares. Oh, dude. A Rocket Zapdos. That is very cool. And then a Professor's Research. All right. So I really like the Rocket Zapdos. So we're going to throw that into a sleeve, of course. That's definitely a, a, a reprint of some sort. And Professor's Research we'll throw into this too because it's quite nice. And I'll have to go through those others. Here we go. The next pack of celebrations. Oh, this is coming apart this way. Okay. So that works. Looks like based on what I can see, I might have spoiled myself a little bit. There's a uh, definitely a Palkia in the, uh, in the mix. So don't be surprised if you see a Palkia. Ta-da! Pelkia, the one we just saw. Another Dialga. Okay, so I'm starting to see which ones are common. Exernius, which is cool. And a Soul Gleo. 
Neat. So those ones are both new. Quickly sleeve those guys up. I think what I'll do is I'll probably sleeve up one of each type eventually, so then I have them. Since they are pretty neat reprints. So far we haven't gotten any of the base set reprints. I don't think that Zapdos is a uh, uh, an original reprint. There, we'll open this up here. Aha! Didn't spoil myself this time. Perfect. All right. I think they're upside down. <laughs> One sec. The Pokeball is upside down, so they're upside down, I'm pretty sure. Let's flip it over. So we got another Yvettel. We got another Zekrom. Another Dialga. And a Pikachu. Full art Pikachu. Well, that's cool. Very shiny. That's based off of the original uh, original art set for sure. Slap that into one of these sleeves for now. Very nice. And as it's different because it has the 25 year over on the left as opposed to the right, which is nice as well. Adds a little bit of variety to it. All right. Nice quick opening on this guy. Oh, that's a really cool Pokemon. That's a cool looking Pokemon right there. Get rid of the card. We have a Groudon, which has like a Team Magma or, yeah, Team Magma, I think it is, which is cool. Cosmog, and another Zekrom, and a full art flying Pikachu. Slap that into one of these. That's a pretty neat one right there. So we've got ourselves a couple Pikachus, which I think is kind of common for this set. I think from what everybody was uh, was showing that that's pretty common to get. So we'll slap this guy out of the way and we'll go. Oh, we have something for sure at the back. Gialga, Xerneas, oh my God, Imposter Oak. That's from an old set. And oh my God, a giant surfing Pikachu. Okay, so the Imposter Professor Oak. We will slap into here. Very, very sparkly, which is pretty cool. And surfing Pikachu. You can go into one of these too. There we go. All right, we have got four packs remaining of celebrations. Four more chances to get Blastoise. That is my, my goal for today if we can. If not, then I may have to do some more openings. We have Cosmog to start. I'm just going to take the code card out of the way. Okay, Cosmog, more Xerneas, Kyogre, very nice, and a Lunala. So these are two different ones. I'll put them to the side for now and we'll sleeve them up if I decide to sleeve them up after. On to the next one. The only thing I don't like about these is how much, how much wasted plastic you have from the wrappers. Just makes you feel bad for the environment. Cosmog, Reshiram, Palkia, and another Professor's Research. So we have a duplicate here, but that's fine. Well, we have a lot of duplicates, actually, because with only four cards, there's quite a few dupes that come up there. Two packs left. If you did enjoy these openings, let me know. Maybe we'll do more. Maybe we'll tackle some more of these things. See how it all goes. All right, code card out of the way. Flip this over. A Ho-Oh, a Zekrom, another uh, classic card, Rocket's Admin. Very, very shiny. And another type of surfing Pikachu. So we'll sleeve these guys up. Sleeve number one. Sleeve number two. All right, last pack, guys. Once again, thank you for anybody that came to check this out. This has been fun. I don't get to do these types of things all that often. As I say, Pokemon cards are kind of on the expensive side of things, so my purchasing of them is pretty uncommon, but because it was the 25th anniversary, I thought, let's get back into it. Let's give it a, a run through, play with a few cards, get a few cards, see what we end up with. And here we go. ho is our first card. Lugia, which I think is the first time we've gotten this guy. Very nice looking. A Cosmome was 
the one there, and the last one's a Sol Galeo, which we already got. So yeah, thanks guys, and uh, if you guys are interested in seeing some more celebrations, Pokemon card openings, and stuff like that, let me know. Until the next time, guys, we'll uh, catch you all later.